Thanks, John, for agreeing to do one of my Why I Give videos. Um, so maybe let's just start with you telling me a little bit about why you came to Muhlenberg or how you ended up here. Okay, so Jenny, my wife, and I came in 2003, I think, and we, um, we moved from North Carolina where we, we both grew up Baptist, but we found a church we loved in North Carolina that happened to be Lutheran. And when we moved to the Valley, we um, kind of were going around to churches and we thought, well, maybe it wasn't just that church we loved in North Carolina, maybe it was something about Lutherans. So we came here and um, fell in love with it and um, found it to be a really warm, uh, a lot of people talk about the warmth, the friendliness, and you know, the energy here. And so that's what did it. And we've been here ever since. Yeah. And you both got super involved with the music um, here at Muhlenberg. And I've had the pleasure of getting to know the girls through youth group and middle and high school, Sunday school. Um, there's lots of ways to give, and I wonder if you would mind sharing why it's important to you to give to the ministries at Muhlenberg. The, the best answer to that probably is something I've had a hard time um, kind of figuring out for myself, and that is that everything I own, my, my time, my, my possession, my money, isn't mine, of course. These are all gifts. Uh, uh, that, that God has given us. So it should make, that should make it easier for us to give those things up. I struggle with that, and I think uh, most people do. So that's a lifelong process, figuring that out. Um, I was thinking about this, and probably a better answer for now, I was thinking of a church council meeting. I think it was a church council retreat years and years and years ago. I don't remember exactly when it was. But I remember being in a room with, uh, with, with a bunch of Muhlenbergers and uh, one of the pastors at the time asked a really simple question. He, he said, what needs are not being met that you know of? Who are the people in the community, at church, and what would need to be in place if, to meet those needs? And immediately, it kind of devolved into this discussion about, um, well, someone would suggest something and someone would say, well, that's a great idea, but that, that's not realistic. We would need a, we would need a whole nother, you know, full-time staff person or something like this. And, and the discussion went on for a while like that. And, and then one of the pastors at the time, I'll, I'll always remember it, said, uh, no, stop. Uh, just hypothetically, what if everyone in church was in the habit of giving regularly of their time and their energy and their finances. So what if resources weren't an issue? Then what? What could we do? And we talked for about two hours probably, and the ideas that were coming out were pretty amazing. And the energy that I'll always remember in that discussion was kind of a small version of the energy that I think Muhlenberg has always had. Like, like always asking, what's the next thing? What's the next thing we could do? So the energy behind that question, you know, what's possible uh, to meet the needs of people who are in need, probably more than anything else is what motivates um, us to give. We wanna be part of that, and, and to me that's what, that's what a vibrant church is, a church that asks that question. I think now we're starting to see, you know, we're, we're in the church building right now, and we're, um, a lot of us are in the sanctuary now on Sundays, and we're starting to see a time when we can come back and do this. So to me, it's an, it's an interesting time and an exciting time to be asking, okay, what's next? In addition to the financial aspect of giving, your family's very involved, as you've said. So what other ways are you giving of your talents because you are an extremely talented family? <laughs> well, some of them are. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we, so Jenny is on church council now, and I've been on church council in the past, so we've, we've given uh, uh, of our time in that way. Um, uh, both of our girls are, are, have been pretty involved ever since they were baptized and before. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be um, 
financial, the time, and to me it's, it's more about the energy than anything else. If someone comes with energy wanting to do something, if someone, if there's a need and someone says, um, you know, uh, someone is needed to do, to fulfill this thing, it, you know, wouldn't it be great if 30 people raised yeah. their hands instead of two or three people? That's great. Thank you.